coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. All right, if Dan and Nikel are missing by the end of the show, you know why right there. <laughs> Big winners, we'll see. All right, uh, cold day and uh, what's going to be a cold night coming our way across North Alabama. Here's a look at our Way 31 Skycam Network brought to you by Thompson Roofing and Construction. It's a chilly one out there. We will need the coats uh, tonight and much of the day tomorrow as well with that uh, winter chill back into the region. 35 degrees. We have been stuck in the mid to upper 30s all day long today, and it's been breezy as well. Currently, north winds are at 16 miles per hour, and that makes it feel like the mid 20s in Huntsville right now. Current temperature uh, is 34 in Gunnersville, 34 in Fort Payne, down to 33 in Haleyville. A couple of uh, temps right at the freezing mark in southern Tennessee. We're going to see those uh, wind chills stay in the 20s all night long. That's where they are right now, feeling like 28 in Decatur, 23 in Fayetteville, and 24 in Gunnersville right now. So again, both those temperatures and wind chills pretty steady for the next several hours, but late tonight we may see the actual temperatures dip into the 20s. The feels like temperatures close to 20 when the sun rises tomorrow morning. It's going to be an awfully cold start to the weekend and we might see a little frost develop in spots uh, early in the day tomorrow as well. Sunshine will be abundant tomorrow, a little cloudy maybe early on, but uh, sun certainly expected by the afternoon. That will help us warm up a little bit more tomorrow than what we saw today, getting us mainly to those mid 40s. That's still cooler than average for this time of the year and certainly cooler than it's been uh, most of this January so far. But uh, all in all, a quiet and fairly pleasant start to the weekend. Again, here are your highs 44 in Huntsville and up to 46 degrees in Decatur. Let's get back to the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We are continuing to see some flurries fly around northeast Alabama and southern middle Tennessee at this hour. These may stick around for a few more hours. Eventually drier air is going to move into the region, clear out any threat for snow. Now, while we have had these snow showers in the especially the higher terrain this evening, might be a couple slick spots that we'll have to watch out for tonight and early on Saturday. Certainly more snow farther to the north and east around the Appalachian Range. High pressure is going to move in, though, and that's going to clear out the moisture, leading to a good amount of sunshine and dry conditions throughout this upcoming weekend. So if you have any outdoor plans, yeah, it's going to be kind of cold, but at least it will be dry both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, again, all, all, uh, nothing but sunshine on Saturday afternoon. Just a few high-level clouds moving in early on Sunday but should see plenty of sun by Sunday afternoon. Highs back to the 50s by Sunday. Couple rain chances coming our way next week. First round will roll through late Monday into early Tuesday. Likely not stormy, just a soaking rain moving through around Monday night. We'll catch a brief break before our next system heads our way late Wednesday into early Thursday. This second round could be a storm producer for us. Whether or not that's severe or not remains to be seen. Your seven day forecast shows those temperatures back on the rise all the way to the upper 60s next Tuesday and next Wednesday.